Today, I would like to discuss and analyze polybutylene pipe. I'm inside a double wide that's 30 years old. I'm doing some work in the dining room and on the other side of that wall is a bathroom project. And you can see the new plumbing here and the old and I'm just running right alongside it. I'm heading to the kitchen sink. Eventually I'll re-plumb the whole house. To give some perspective, the floor under the toilet had softened. And the vanity is the original. It's dated. So I'm basically remodeling a bathroom and the home was plumbed with the polybutylene pipe. I have not had a single issue with this plumbing. However, I'm on a well system and that more than likely preserved the life expectancy of this pipe. Versus being in the city where the water is treated, the chlorination degrades the pipe from the inside out. And since I have the floor open here and in the dining room, this is a good window of opportunity to retire this pipe. And here's the new water feed coming in. And they say this pipe can look perfectly fine on the outside, but it's deteriorating on the inside. So I'm going to take this to the bench and analyze if this plumbing was near failure or could have lasted many more years. Alright, let's take a closer look. This pipe here was at the toilet area coming in from the dining room, teeing up to the toilet, then teeing over to the sink, then continuing to the bathtub. And this green here is oxidation. A little bit of moisture, oxygen, and it starts to corrode and form this green. And over time, it will corrode these copper fittings and weaken them till they finally crack. And then the pipe no longer has that gripping action and it's vulnerable to expanding and pulling off the fitting. However, from my experience, like on car hoses or ABS black pipe that's been clamped for many years, you can remove the clamp and you can't even get that pipe off. You have to cut it off. But given the thickness of this collar, it probably could have went another 15 years easily. Then we've got a fitting here that doesn't show any corrosion right next to areas that do. And this is just speculation. Let's say this was laying on top of some insulation and the insulation absorbed the moisture and these were damp but it's going to take many years for that to fail however the pipe itself doesn't look too bad at all I came across this piece of pipe that was left over at the bathtub area. The installers had it roughed in long, cut it to the length they need, and threw it underneath the bathtub. So here I have a brand new piece of pipe to compare. Now I don't have a micrometer, but visually it looks the same. So let's do a squeeze test. This might be a tad more rigid, but one thing I did notice, when I went to make my first cut, I used this cutter, and it did not cut the pipe, it collapsed it. Now the cutter might be a tad dull, but it has no problem cutting a more rigid pipe. So I used this tool and it also collapsed but it of course it cut it. So let me cut this pipe using this tool and then cut the new pipe to see if there's any difference. 
See how that's collapsing? Same thing. Collapsing. Now let's try this cutter on the new pipe. See? It's collapsing. Won't cut it. So the brand new pipe is acting the same way as the old pipe. So with that little test, they were equivalent. And visually speaking, I would say the old pipe did not need changed out. However, the fittings are slowly failing. But this plumbing would have lasted many more years. And that's probably all due to being on the well system. Another factor is when buying a home. If the home is plumbed with poly B, it's a red flag. The second issue, some homeowner's insurance will not cover a home with poly B in it. Or they'll give you a lot higher rate. Here's another joint. Light corrosion. Copper joint in good shape. However, the concept of this plumbing is excellent. It's flexible. Run it right through your floor. Bow it up. Clamp in a valve. Clamp in a faucet connector. All one run. So my main goal with this video is to demonstrate of how well this pipe performed with a well system. And this, with the copper connectors and the copper fittings, is the best of the polybutylene line, which is in the 90s. Prior to that, they were using plastic fittings. If you've got that, definitely consider changing it out. Let's slice open a section of this pipe see what that reveals there you go smooth surface not distorted in any way this pipe is in great shape so it must be the chemical makeup of the pipe in conjunction with city chlorinated water that's creating the reaction and when I made the cut it was as if I was cutting vinyl siding let's remove one of these rings Oh look, it's turning. There you go. So if one of them failed, it would definitely burst. You can see the copper on the inside it's still shiny. A little bit of copper showing here on the fittings. You can see the furrow marks on the inside of the pipe. The pipe does not look distorted. This system is in great shape. However, if one of these failed, then the pipe would fail. But there's no sign of failure here. So in conclusion, if you're drawing natural water from the earth through a well system, untreated, and you have the copper rings and fittings, you don't have anything to worry about. You can also clean the corrosion off these fittings with a wire brush. Then apply an oxidation protectant product.
Hope this has helped someone out there. Any questions or comments leave down below. And thanks for watching. Check this out. This was found under the house, secured to the floor joist. It was feeding a sink about 10 feet away, bed of insulation underneath, and the plastic that holds the insulation in place. It's in pristine shape. It would have lasted 100 years and beyond.